Hello class. As we end our ninth week together, I want to quickly pause to say how much I've enjoyed these past few conversations on the topics we've discussed. Over the past few weeks, while the topics were about specific areas of consideration with regards to nonprofit fiscal management, um, topics such as risk management and management controls, what I have seen is your focus on how these principles would apply in a nonprofit context. That is, I recognize your viewpoints are coming from the leader's perspective, and I think that is great. This past week's module was similar in nature to the previous few weeks, except we took it from the lens of the external stakeholder, bringing in issues of ethics, accountability, and transparency. You were introduced to a couple of resources on how nonprofits are rated from an accountability perspective. The principle is that a nonprofit should be willing to explain its financial affairs and actions to the public. Furthermore, the organization should have some sort of procedures in place to ensure that information or data about their financial affairs is made available and not veiled. The bottom line is that nonprofits should have the attitude and willingness to be an open book about their books. Now consider how this intersects with the discussion about the 990 form a few weeks ago. How does that type of financial disclosure corroborate with the information that nonprofit leaders convey to their stakeholders through other means? Another way to look at this is that the 990 should fact check what the nonprofit organization says about itself. There's a quote that says that ethics is knowing the difference between what you have a right to do and what is right to do. In the nonprofit world, there is a lot of latitude for leaders in terms of what they can do, but doing the right thing ethically is the leadership difference. This weekend, you'll be turning in your third and final paper, the Financial Procedures Guide. One way to approach this assignment is to first look up some examples of a financial guide. There are many templates available and they could be found using the terms accounting procedures guide or manual. Know, however, that many of these guides are written in for-profit terms. And when it comes to nonprofits, consider what distinctions need to be made between the two. While the context of the guide itself is up to you, while the content of the guide itself is up to you, it all depends on what the organization is. In other words, you're not writing a general guide for any nonprofit organization, though I'm sure you, what, what you create can be applied anywhere, but more importantly, for a particular organization. This is the key to the assignment. You must use a nonprofit organization as an example. Specifically, pick one that you are interested in, and it cannot be an organization that you used in a previous assignment, um, just give a brief background and introduction to the organization and you'll write the guide that includes policies and procedures to whatever financial matter you want to discuss. The assignment description gives you ideas on what to include. One easy way to think about how to approach this assignment is if you were hired as a consultant, consultant to this nonprofit and they wanted ideas of what to think about for good financial health and how to go about doing it, what would you tell them? That's pretty much the assignment. I look forward to seeing your ideas and what organizations you choose. Well, that's all for now. And as I usually say, continue any remaining discussion through the weekend. Of course, finish up your papers. And I will see you all online.